Hi, this is the overview for both weeks of First Peter in the Youth Sunday School program. At the time of writing this letter, Peter was a very seasoned apostle, having served for more than 30 years after the resurrection of Christ. It seems that this letter was written to all Christians scattered throughout the Roman Empire. The letter is probably written sometime between the beginning of Nero's persecutions in 64 AD and Peter's death at Nero's hand in 67 AD. The writing seems very tense, and I would suggest the tone is similar to Paul in 1 Timothy. While we're always told to be alert because the days are evil, these people were experiencing it. Endurance and following Christ is a constant theme in the Word. It's not easy. And before we know it, we and those we're teaching might be facing very trying times. Yet today still, many people just hang around church and make the right noises because everything in the West is still so easy and non-confrontational. In our Western culture, if we don't live as witnesses for Christ, who cares? Believing is totally easy, and the requirements of following Jesus are few. <laughs> Just stay out of trouble. But trouble is coming. Jesus invited people to walk as he walked, and to suffer as he suffered in the harvest. For it has been granted to you that for the sake of Christ, you should not only believe in him, but also suffer for his sake, engage in the same conflict that you saw that I had, and now hear that I still have. That's Paul in Philippians 1, 29 and 30. The point of remaining on earth is to reach the lost and make disciples, that is, being witnesses and followers of Christ. On this planet, that means opposition. If we give up and don't learn to endure in our faith, we miss God's purpose for us. We miss seeing his grace in the lives of those who are saved and then become disciples who make disciples. We miss the work that only he can do in our hearts unless we only have him to depend upon. And worst of all, we miss getting to know him and having him and the Father make their home in us. That's John 14, 21 through 23. I would divide the book over the two weeks doing chapters one and two the first week and three through five the second week. I would teach everything, all verses and all themes in light of the persecutions. Use the context of the book to interpret the book. Chapters 1 and 2 give an eternal or spiritual perspective for enduring this suffering. Peter emphasizes who we have been called to be in Jesus who saves us. What is life all about? Why does God allow us to suffer? How much should we submit to the authorities? How does the definition of our identity in 1 Peter 2, 9 and 10 tell us how we should behave and why we should endure? There should be some good practical discussion. Chapters 3 through 5 give relationships that will require a lot of discipline to hold together, all the while showing what it means to suffer for righteousness sake. Why is it important for husbands to lead and wives to submit in danger? Why is it better to keep your temper under control going through danger? Why is it good to be respectful in danger? Why is it helpful to obey and accept leadership from the elders in danger? And how can you have peace in Jesus Christ when you're in the middle of danger? Have fun, and thanks for teaching our youth. Maranatha.